So I've been given a load of old computer equipment and I've decided to see what's inside this uh, Gillette, I think, satellite modem, uh, otherwise sold by SES. You do satellite broadband connectivity. This was in somebody's home or business providing them with internet when uh, the DSL based internet didn't work or um, it wasn't available or something and there wasn't any cell phone based coverage. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, that screwdriver's not going to work. So normally I'd check that these work and then uh, sell them as second hand but it seems there isn't much of an aftermarket for satellite modems mainly because satellite internet is pretty terrible because of the latency and data limits so if you're in the situation of needing uh, broadband that isn't via a telephone line I would investigate any other options other than satellite because almost every person I know who has gone for the satellite broadband option has regretted it. They've spent hundreds on the installation and then nearing hundreds of pounds a month on monthly uh, costs and the service has been less than desirable and uh, certainly nowhere near uh, the performance that's promised. I think the only one that did work as well, or quite well, is uh, I believe it's Hughes satellite. But all the, um, the what I'd say are budget ones are rubbish. Right, and fairly heavy shielding around the top of this case. And uh, let's have a look at, first off, the connectors on the back, because I don't think I went through that just then. So on the back you've got RF in, so from the satellite LNB. Micro SD, which presumably you could use to have uh, settings or profiles stored on it. The network connector and RF out, so for transmitting. And uh, 24 volts, 2.5 amps power in. Uh, I think if I can, let's get this board out of here. Oh yeah, so for this installation, I pretty much remember that the customer used their DSL most of the time, and I set up a, a physical switch that they would switch and it would move their connection over to the satellite, which they would then use for large downloads, which was very rare. <coughs> Pardon me. Which was very rare, and they spent most of their time using their DSL-based broadband because for general browsing, and especially for things like Skype conferences, the latency on the satellite was unusable and so the only reason they'd ever swap over is if they wanted to download yeah, I guess either a film or a large file which is a bit of a shame and with governments thinking about using satellite for their universal service obligations or giving people quicker broadband um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of very disappointed people when they get, or if they get satellite, and uh, especially if there's a lot of people using satellite, the biggest problem is the, the lack of capacity. Um, anyway, yeah, heavy shielding on the entirety of that box there. So, what do we have in it? Um, it's all going to be fairly standard, I expect. Looks like there's a port, you can have two Ethernet ports on it, so one there and one there. I wonder what that could be. 
set of missing components there. Possibly an RJ11 jack for telephone, although it looks like there's too many connectors for, for that. Don't know. And then these things which I recognise, I don't know what they are, but I recognise them from TV tuners. So they're probably RF components based there. An Altera Cyclone chip. Mm, recognise that as a memory, I guess. And some more memory there. Some more components that are silk screen but not there. So I wonder what the other uses or um, variants of this device could be. And not a huge amount except for surface mount components on the underside. And two again heavily shielded areas right opposite the uh, connections for the uh, BNC or coax, sorry. That's it. Not particularly exciting. It looks like a fusible bit of wire there. So it's just wire that links two bits called JMP2, so jumper 2. But is that it's a bit strange that it's not removable, so I'm going to assume because it's next to the power. Quite likely to be a fuse. Hmm. Oh, I was expecting that to be more exciting. There you go. That's what's inside. A satellite modem.